So what do you want me to do next? Kill a dragon? Catch a water sprite? Hello everyone and welcome back. The last time we were able to see how Henry aided the village of Merhoyed, I became a poisonous relationship with Black Peter and managed to resuscitate the fortunes of Norhof stables. If you enjoy the way we're covering the game, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button. While he's taking care of the Kuman incumbents around Tamburg, Henry comes across a strange tale. Some poachers have settled in the woods near the inn. A right band of them too, the master huntsman's at his wits end with them. It seems that a group of poachers have taken residence in the nearby woods, and the huntsmaster is having trouble dealing with them. You're that scallet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. Sir Radzig is my liege, and I serve him faithfully, but that doesn't make me a lackey. He seems to be an awfully rude fellow, calling Henry a lackey and all that, particularly because Henry's here to help him. But we've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, We've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should, you're quite right. But when I ask the local folk anything, their mouths close up like clams. They're more scared of me than the devil. That's why I need an outsider to ask for me. Oddly enough, the Huntmaster seems more interested in the gossip in the village than in actually tracking down the poachers. Ask around the village. And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the inn in the glade. There's a number of ways of dealing with the situation. The most straightforward approach is to infiltrate the poachers. That involves speaking to Andrew, and Henry knows from experience that borderline criminal activities, or even outright criminal ones, aren't beyond the innkeeper. Now and again, the fisherman from Talmberg comes around here with some game to sell. There's more and more poaching going on there, and they're always looking for new people. Don't tell me there's a shortage of poachers. There isn't. Only their chief is uh, not an easy man to get on with. He's a strange one for a poacher. He's got ideas. Find a fellow in Tomberg who goes by the name of Black Lukesh. If you have sufficient bow skill, then he'll simply direct you towards Black Lukesh. But if it isn't, then he'll put you to the test against one of the stable boys at Nohof. Black Lukesh in turn will give you a task to hunt down a stag and bring him the antlers. Said you had a job for someone who's good with a bow. For a start, you can tell me why a lad like you wants to join us. I have a score to settle with his lordship, and I can't think of any better way to get revenge. Huh. <laughs> then you've come to the right place. I need to know if you're at home in the woods, and if you're any kind of hunter. Bring me some deer antlers, and then we'll talk. Easy. Well... Purchasing the antlers is insufficient. You need to actually hunt down the stag. That means you need to have the hunting perk that allows you to gather antlers. If you don't already have the perk, then you may need to improve your hunting skill to the point where you can. But once you have the antlers, look at your director to obtain Nicholas's hunting horn. So what do you want me to do next? Kill a dragon? Catch a water sprite? Hilarious. Nicholas the Huntsman has a very fine old hunting horn. But we'd like Nicholas better without any horns. There are two ways to do this. One is to speak to Nicholas, and he will give you the horn. Or alternatively, pickpocket it out of him. I think it comes down to how you want to roleplay it. If you find yourself on the side of Nicholas, then asking him is obviously fine, but if you find yourself suspecting him, or having second thoughts, then you may want to simply pickpocket it out of him, to make sure that you're not associated with any misuse of the horn. But regardless of how you obtain it, Black Lukesh will tell you the location of the poacher camp. So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods, there's a concealed glade. And that's where you'll find us. At this point, there's another choice to be made. If you tell the huntsman, then he directs you to speak to Sir Robot. Found out where those poachers meet. In fact, not all that far from here. In a glade, not far from your lodge. I see. They chose that place to mock me. I might have known. But now we can finally nab them, right? We can. Go to the castle and tell Captain Robard to send some men with you. Wait, you're not coming? I have a lot of work to do. <sighs> Of course you do. I've come about the poacher, sir. Oh, so you're the one Nicholas was talking about. All right. I'll send some of my men with you. Which will result in an attack on the poacher's camp. Hanukkah here of Zalush. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murders. Will you come quietly? What do you say, ma'am? Alternatively, if you join the poachers, then you'll be attacked by the guardsmen of Tamburg. Whichever side you may be initially on notwithstanding, 
You might be given the option of changing sides during the battle. So you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lukesh tell you who's in charge? Well, speak of the devil. Started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Goathead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. <laughs> Not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. Lukes brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Radha and the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Why you came here. Where you come from. You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Sir! The Tomburgers are coming! Regardless of how the battle goes, Hanneke and Hare will usually get away. And if you do manage to catch him, then you'll be given the option of hearing his story. And then it will come down to either trying to arrest him, which will usually lead to his death at your hands, or joining his conspiracy. Henry? I say there's nothing to fear. <laughs> what have you got here? Entertainment! Great! Curse it! What a mess. This is shit. Can I do anything to help? Aye. It's fucked up, Henry. I'm out of here. I have to disappear, see? And you're just gonna leave the hair in it? I'm a poacher, a thief, and a murderer. But he's fighting for his honor, don't you see? If he pulls it off, I'll just be a hindrance to him. Well, you never know what might happen. He may need you yet, but so be it. Not so fast. You're right in it with all the rest of us. And who's gonna stand in my way? You. Look, I've done some poaching for hair. But he's not worth getting killed for. You'll see it my way if you've got any sense. That's for me to decide. So off you go. What can I do? I need some help. I've got a pretty good stash at home. Been saving it for a rainy day. Are you afraid they're watching your house? Seems likely. All right. But where is this cast iron reserve of yours? Or is it more like a gold reserve? I wish. Now listen. It's hidden in a tankard in my cottage, hanging on the wall by the hearth. Ah, good hideout. That wouldn't have occurred to me. All right, I'll go and take a look for you. Thank you very much. What do you think you're doing? I have a mind to call the guards. So, have you got it? I have it for you. A pretty necklace. Your mother's, was it? That old whore didn't leave me as much as a piss pot. No, I pinched this from Lady Ophelia when I was a groom at Stanberg. Thanks. The coin I get for this will keep me going for a while. Maybe we'll meet again one day. <sighs> Who knows? Another way to discover the location of the poaching camp is to speak to Tom of the Baths. I don't know who you are, but you should watch your mouth. I will, don't you worry. So what happened then? What? Nothing. It was just the beer talking. I got pissed and started spouting shit. Didn't mean a word of it. Maybe not. That remains to be seen. You'll of course deny it, but if you speak to the various people around the village, then you'll discover that he purchased a keg of beer. And a few days later, they did come and buy a few kegs of beer from me. That Jake Piper is a close associate of Tom, 
because everywhere he goes, he's whistling on that pipe of his. That somebody did hold a feast in the forest, and that piping was heard at the feast. And there were figures singing and dancing, and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And I could smell roast meat. The way to get a confession out of Tom without passing a speech check is to gather the physical clues that point to him. One is to find the D-bones that are buried at the side of the feast. You can use that to pressure Jake Piper, who will then confess, and use that confession against Tom. I was, I don't deny it, but nothing disreputable went on there. Was Tom from the baths there too? Yes, he was there. So how do you explain that I found bones buried there? And where might you have got a deer from? Game is for the nobles. I don't know. It wasn't me. I'm asking you for the last time, who dragged in that deer? Thomas. It was Thomas. But I had nothing to do with it, I swear. But if you also happen to look around the baths, then you discover a shed that has a lot of evidence pointing to a deer being butchered there. When you use that to accost the Tom of the Bats, then you'll crumble and point towards a charcoal burner to the south. So, you're saying you've not been poaching? How many times do I have to explain? I've never stolen so much as a rabbit. I was just in a tavern, bragging, that's all. So, how do you account for my finding some deer antlers in your shed? I... Well, uh... Come on, let's hear the truth. All right, but promise me you won't drag me into anything. Speak up and who knows, I might put in a word for you. All right, the truth is I did drag a deer carcass there, but I didn't do the shooting. I was given it. That's a likely story. Honestly, not a word of a lie. I caught the poacher just as he was skinning it. And who might that be? I don't know. If you don't tell me who it was, I've no reason to believe that story of yours. Fine. Fine. He's one of the charcoal men. I've seen him taking the charcoal to the forge. His name is... Radan. A fellow from Talmborough claims he saw you poaching. What do you have to say about that? <clears throat> Can you hear me? Don't you have anything to say to me about that? I'm not a poacher. That's not what I've heard. But I'm not a poacher, though. Did your friends tell you the penalty for poaching? Because if you knew, you'd never have been foolish enough to get involved. I'm no poacher. No, of course not. You're the Pope in disguise. What? Oh, never mind. But just so you know, the local custom is to string poachers up. I don't want to hang. Then you better make sure they won't hang you. How? For a start, by telling me where I can find your merry band of poachers. Because maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but I don't think you're the leader. Eh? Uh, no, I'm not. So, out with it. In turn, the charcoal burner will tell you about the poaching sites, and that will bring you back to the battle between the guardsmen and the poachers. Along the trail, from the huntsman's lodge, go into the wood by the big broken tree. Eastward. But if you dig even deeper into the rumours, then you'll discover that despite all the tall tales, Margaret, Hannigan Hare and Nicholas had a complicated three-way relationship. And it seems that Hannigan Hare told Margaret about a signal that she could use to arrange a meeting with him. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling, and I need to hear it. Very well. You're right. It seems Hannigan Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. He said if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. On the way to Ujits. Back then, we used to meet by the great big beech tree, right next to the wayside shrine. There's a lovely view there, you see. I want you to hang that garland on the lodge. Hanging the garlands is the only way to avoid the battle between the guardsmen and the poachers, and have a chance to meet Hannigan Hare directly. Meeting Hannigan Hare that way leads you to the conversation where you choose between arresting him or joining his cause. I'm guessing Nicholas won't be joining us. Who the devil are you? I thought you wanted to meet up with Margaret. Fortunately, I'm not that much of a fool anymore. I was hoping I'd tempt Nicholas out of his lair. But let's get to the point. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Henry, and I work for the Master Huntsman. So are you going to arrest me? I am. 
All I ask is that you listen to me first. Why should I listen to you? Because if you care about justice, you're after the wrong man. Anyone can say that. And that's precisely why the accused should get a proper hearing. Let me guess. You're going to tell me you're innocent? I wouldn't presume. I've been poaching on the Divish estate, and I'll take the punishment I deserve. But the crime I was nearly strung up for, that one I didn't commit. I've heard different things about your crime. So I imagine. Lucas has told me the villagers still talk of me. And how did it happen? It's a long story. I've got time to listen. All right. But for you to understand, I have to start from the beginning. I was born as Hanak and Hare of Zalush, the eldest son of Sidney of Zalush. My house became sadly impoverished, and I became the master huntsman at Talmberg. Gamekeeper turned poacher? Hmm, I see. That's quite a transformation. Nicholas gave me no choice. What happened to your family? My father lost his influential friends and the money with them. After his death, I inherited only his debts. There was nothing for it but to sell off all our possessions, see to my sister's welfare, and manage as best I could. That sounds a rough deal. Believe it or not, I never cared for the life of a nobleman. I spent my youth running free, hunting in the woods. What happened between you and Nicholas? I was falsely accused of murder. Henry of Lipa visited Talmberg, and the morning after the banquet in his honor, one of his men was found dead. And didn't they have any cause to suspect you? That's just it. They did. At the banquet, I got into a fight with the man. I know Sir Hanish of Lipa. Was Sir Henry his father? Indeed. He was on his way to Ratai to take charge of the fiefdom for young Sir Hans Capon. Why did you get into a fight with him? The fall of the house of Zalush was the work of the lords of Lipa. And that fellow took great delight in reminding me of it. And then what? Nicholas began to pull strings. Several people came forward as witnesses to say they saw me with the fellow later that night. Why would he have done that? He wanted rid of me. We were both in love with the same lass, you see, and Margaret is his wife today. But back then there was no question which of the two of us would win her. I was the huntsman of noble blood, and Nicholas was just plain Nick. Her father's preference was clear. Do you know who did kill the man? No. He was found in a ditch with his neck broken. He could have tripped and fallen all on his own. And that never occurred to anyone? It did. But some people swore they'd seen us jostling on the drawbridge. Of course, that was Nicholas's work. What did Margaret think of you? She took me for a fool. She only had eyes for Nicholas, but I didn't see it then. In the end, she could have saved me. How? She could have told the truth. After the banquet, I was with her. But when they asked her, she said she hadn't seen me that night. How did you get out of it? What leads you to imagine I did? Your head's still on your shoulders, so you must have escaped somehow. I'm alive. But my name and my family's name has been dragged through the mud. For me, that's worse than the sentence waiting for me. If you say so. But you still managed to get away. Well, it's true I had the good fortune to escape from the dungeon. From the Talmberg dungeon? That can't be done, can it? It's not too hard when the lord of the castle himself helps you escape. So Divish set you free? From his own dungeon? He couldn't offend Henry, so he had to lock me up. But he trusted me. We were friends, after all. He led me out of the castle in the night. I was given a good horse, and in a couple of days I was in Silesia. And that was the end of it. At least until now. Even if I believed you, there's no proof. It all happened a long time ago. I know. But if I didn't believe in my own innocence, I'd have to be crazy to have done what I did. Why? If I truly were guilty, why would I risk coming back to Bohemia? I could have died in peace as a rich man in the pay of the Jagalonians. Only a fool would come back. Nicholas took everything you had, 
regardless of your guilt or innocence. I'd say you have more than enough cause to want revenge. I'm not like him. Anyway, you're right. I don't have any proof of my innocence. All I can give you is my word. Nah, words are cheap. You're coming with me. Then I'm afraid you don't give me any choice. If you're role-playing as a Henry that follows the law to the letter, then arresting Hannigan Hare is the only option. That will inevitably lead to his death. But if you've been paying attention to Nicholas's actions throughout this entire affair, then Hannigan's words don't seem that unbelievable. Nicholas is both incompetent and cowardly. Throughout this entire affair, he's tried to get Henry to do all his dirty work. He failed to find the poacher's camp, even though it was so close to his own home. Although it's just as likely that he knew the location, but he couldn't do anything himself because of his cowardice. If you look at the way he avoided confronting the poachers, even with the backing of the guardsmen, it definitely seems that he's someone who prefers to work behind the scenes and manipulate others. That makes Hanneken Hare's claims that he was set up quite believable. I got Hare. And where is he? I last saw him lying down in the forest. Are you saying you killed him? There was no other way. I'm just glad I got out in one piece. Ah, well, I'd rather have had him alive, but what's to be done? But I can't be sure it was really Hare, unless you have some proof. Uh, he had an heirloom, a signet ring. That would prove it. I have it here. It's his, all right. <laughs> Hard to believe the legendary Hanukkah Hare is gone to his maker. Anyway, I do know how to show my gratitude. If he chooses to take Nicholas aside, then the status quo will remain as it is. But if he chooses to take Hanukkah Hare's side, then you'll have to kidnap Margaret so he can force Nicholas to sign the confession. If something tells me you're speaking the truth, Hanukkah Hare. So, what are you up to? Working out how to get Nicholas's confession. I've had the priest in Janowitz write me up a parchment. When Nicholas signs it, he'll admit to everything written down there. That scrap of parchment is for Sir Divish and the provincial court. But we'll be generous to Nicholas and let him leave in peace before we deliver the confession to Talmberg. First of all, I need to steal Nicholas's hunting horn. I gave Lukesh the job, but he hasn't managed it so far. Uh, in all the confusion, I kind of forgot about it. I've got the horn. I'll lure him out of the lodge at dawn. And I meant to kidnap his wife while he's gone. Of course it would be best if she went with you voluntarily. Why me? Can you blow the horn? No. Well, there you are then. When you get her, bring her here. It used to be the case that you could pass a speech check to get her to come with you voluntarily. Once all that's done and you have Nicholas's signature, then he and Margaret will leave the province. Sign this parchment here and I'll tell you what you want to know. I, Nicholas Angel, do hereby confess... No, 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 no. Conspiracy against Sir Hanukkah Hare? Just in proper punishment? What? You must be out of your fucking mind! Never! Sign it if you cherish Margaret's life. I can't vouch for what Hare might do. Hare's bluffing. He'd never harm Margaret. I wouldn't be so sure. If you take a man's sweetheart, his home and his job, and leave him in the shadow of the gallows, you can't expect much mercy from him. So, I have your word of honor we'll be allowed to leave. I swear it. Neither Hare nor I will stand in your way. There. Now tell me where my wife is. Then both you and Hanukkah Hare can go and meet Sadivish. Hanukkah Hare, I never expected to see you again. You realize that Sir Henry of Lipa has never repealed his sentence against you. Henry will then be offered the vacant position of Master Huntsman, both to fill the vacancy, but also to reward you for your deeds and your integrity. It's a great honor, and it will be quite an insult to turn it down. There's one obvious candidate. Henry here. Help me bring Nicholas to justice. And he's no disgrace as a hunter. Really? Well, what of it, young man? It will be an honor, sir. Good, good. 
then I hereby name you Master Huntsman at Talmberg Castle. But overall, it seems that Henry really is coming up in the world. Not only has he become Master Huntsman of Talmberg, he's also a Ratai Tony champion and an esteemed member of Sir Radzik's retinue. I could never have managed it without you. God willing, we will meet again one day. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.